welcome to Teamhood. I will walk you through the key features of Teamhood collaboration platform. The most important feature in Teamhood is visual work management via two-dimensional Kanban boards. You will describe how your team works by creating columns as work statuses and rows as work groups. Also, mind the coloring for further visualization of your process by visiting the board settings. In board settings, you will find the board designer for creating new column groups, columns, putting settings for columns like color codes, statuses, width, naming, and further information. Also, you will be able to set the estimation types for board. In this time, I'll be using hours, and we'll see how that works later. Now, if we get back to the Kanban board, we'll see that it contains Kanban cards, and each Kanban card can have a lot of information attached to it. First of all, you can set the due date and start date for each item. You can estimate it in hours or other chosen method. You can break down work into sub-items. You can have file attachments to provide important project documentation. You can write comments. And then you can review the audit trail of each item card to understand what has been done with it. Now, if you estimate work, you can always track how much time you spend actually by using the integrated time tracker in Teamhood or simply clicking plus, plus one hour for the convenient use. Then you can put in tags to either visualize additional information or help to filter work items. Each work item can also have dependencies. As we've seen here, this work item is blocking some further work. And this train spaceflight team depends on that item. When it gets finished, this one can be started. So this information can give us another nice view, which is called timeline, where we will see when the work is scheduled to start and end. Also, what are the dependencies between different work items? If I'm working on the project level, this gives me a good feature to see all my Kanban boards in one single view. So I can have even project portfolio to be organized in this space. Now, if I'm interested in how does that look on my team, team level, I can switch to user's view and then I can see what kind of work people already have assigned and scheduled as well as what kind of work depends on other team members. So this can give me a lot of power to organizing my team efficiently. Other views like file view can show you all the project documentation in a very convenient single location. You can search and find the most important documents in here. Reports are used to, prog to track the progress and report on latest statuses. In the dashboard view, I can instantly see how much items were completed, which of them are due, and also how my team members are looking from their own progress. If we use those time estimations and time tracking, I can look into the timesheets to see and understand if we're doing correctly as we estimate it and then slice the report in different modes like user, item, tag, time period, or board row, in this case, my project. Now I can import and export my items from Excel and to Excel in the CSV format. It can be used for the templating or integrating with other software. Now the last and most important thing is my personal agenda. If I have a lot of different items across different boards, this is a single place to find everything. What has been changed by other team members related to my work as notifications? What are the already due items so I can act on it? And then what's my further agenda, including unscheduled tasks? So this is the one-stop shop for understanding what's your plan for the week. And this is it on the Teamhood Features walkthrough. Look for more videos to learn more. Thank you.